Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going today on this fine Saturday afternoon? I've been up since 10 a.m. Friggin', uh, you know, minding my own business, having a snooze. I was watching some uh, Beast Wars, you know, Transformers with Beasts, whatever, anyway. So I'm sitting here watching that on, uh, on my computer, just laying there in bed, and all of a sudden Oreo goes off like a fire alarm, like he always does, because somebody banged at the door. So I go down to the door, see who it is. Once again, those furnace guys, but this time a different person from a different company. I've been approached by seven different fucking furnace companies wanting to sell me a furnace. It's like... If I'm going to get one, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to either buy it or rent it from the company that I rent my hot water here from. Or I'll go to like Home Depot and buy a furnace and stove it in the basement. You know, whatever. Or a crawl space, I should say. But like, they're sitting there. It was hilarious. But he's like, uh, obviously East Indian, friggin', you know, straight out of Toronto type you know, scam artist. And he's like, uh, hello sir, I'm here from Natural Energy Performance. Uh, we're an authorized furnace replacement company. Uh, we work and coincide with your rental company and blah, blah, blah. And can we come in and take a look at your furnace? And I said, no. And he goes, okay, we're just looking at it to see the age. And I said, well, the age is none yet. And he goes, what's that? I'm like, none your fucking business. And he's like, well, sir, it's mandatory to have that inspected. And I'm like, yeah, I got a guy. I got a guy who does that. He's a pro. He's a local pro. I'm putting money back into the economy, you know? And he's sitting there and he's like, well, you know, sir, uh, what we can do for you is we can rent you a furnace and we'll even be kind enough to take your old furnace away so you don't have to deal with it. And I'm like, yeah, what, bring it to the scrapyard and get the $300 or whatever the fuck's in there? I'm like, come on, bro, stop. And he's like, well, sir, and I'm like, no, 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 no more, sir. You gotta do me a favor. And he's like, what's that? I'm like, get the fuck off my property, son. And he looked at me and I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you scam artist goof. And he's like, sir, you don't have to be hostile. I'm like, fucking right. I have to be hostile. You just woke me up from an awesome dream um, to try and scam me out of my furnace, you prick. Get the fuck off my property. Blah, blah, blah. Was was a bing bang. Um, finally, he got the hint to get the fuck out of there. Probably the nine pound Pomeranian sitting beside me, realizing I'm mad. Therefore, now he is growling and wants to eat him, uh, even though he probably be full if he ate his big toe but still you know what a fucking horror show so i've been just watching movies this morning what was the one that i watched uh, i'm watching that captain america winter soldier right now it's not too bad it's not, not a bad movie and then i watched another one can't remember the fucking name of it what was the name of that one that i watched uh, i watched that man of steel that was pretty good that was all right i watched need for speed that's like that movie made no sense. They left a lot out. They should have added more in. Watch the new Robocop. That was actually kick-ass. I really enjoyed that one. That was pretty good. But as for today, people, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got some uh, craft dinner currently uh, cooking uh, in the microwave. And I um, think we're going to have some craft dinner. And then I uh, made myself a coffee. So we're going to drive a coffee into us, some craft dinner. And probably uh, install those D-Link cameras. I was thinking about putting one downstairs in the kitchen. And I was actually contemplating on putting one in the window up here so I can keep an eye on the driveway. You know, like when somebody says, oh, I'm coming over, instead of me here in a car and always getting up and looking out the window, now what I can do is just look at my computer screen or look at my phone or whatever, and it'll tell me. It's like if I'm downstairs and there's somebody here, look at my phone, look at the camera feed. Nope, not here yet, you know, freaking awesome. Or if I'm out of town and I want to see if people are coming in my driveway, I can actually have it notify me when there's movement in the driveway. And then I can fuck people over. Another thing I need to do today that really pissed me off last night uh, when I ran to the beer store to pick up that 15 of Pilsner, uh, I need to wipe the cock off my window. That's right, people. I didn't stutter. I need to wipe the cock off my window. Friggin' Rex, man. Uh, last Saturday or Saturday before that, I can't remember. Yeah, two weekends, actually two weeks from today, we decided to go to Wacky Wings for supper. So we go to Wacky Wings, we have supper, we had chicken wings. Now our fingers are greasier than a motherfucker. So we're coming home and what does Rex do? He's all tired and giddy and shit, draws a great big festering cock on my window. Son of a bitch. So I'm going to wipe that off because that's getting annoying. And last night it was like after I washed the G6, the uh, window was extra foggy in the inside because it was like a sauna in inside cold water on the outside so needless to say that cock really shined through and I need to make sure that cock is never seen again and I said cock a lot oh there we go had to charge the battery on the camera so I watched a, a movie and let it charge but um, we're going to grab a dart or three and uh, head out to the uh, head out to the car and uh, clean the window. Today's dart, the IPv2 by Pioneer for you, and the Patriot that definitely needs some polish, running a dual coil setup at one ohm. Or what's it at now? Yeah, 1.1 ohms. But yeah, it chooches. Proof's in the pudding, bitches. Alrighty, well this is the stuff that I bought to do the windows. I bought it a while ago, premium glass cleaner, whatever. Makes glass invisible. It's another way to do that, to go your windows. 
problem solved. But um, yeah, let's get this shit on the car. We'll fucking hit it. Alrighty, I tried doing the inside of the window from outside the car, leaning in and wiping it, but I'm not getting a good enough attack on it. That's where this device comes in handy. Yep, you just get on there and you just give her. You know, just give her. And it, uh, it gives her, so that's what we're gonna use. Let's do this. Alrighty, well, clean this window. Clean the one over there. Got half of this window, so everything on the driver's side is clean, everything on the passenger side is filthy. Probably can't really tell the difference, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll carry on with the cleaning up and we'll go from there. Oh, and I also got the sunroof. Yeah, buddy. Well, it's a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. At least I can see through it. The real truth of test will be when I go for a rip at night, see if it hazes up. Shit says no streak, but you can see there's a haze line there. I can make it going up and down the garage door from uh, the windshield wipers. So I don't know what the fur's going on with that, but I started tackling the dash, getting all the furs off, and what I'm using is homemade all-purpose cleaner. <laughs> yup, that's what I'm using. Same shit we sprayed the tire on the bike with yesterday to find out where all the holes were. And uh, it's been taking all the furries off, so that's a bonus. To make it shine, I'm probably going to need something like Armor All, but people say don't use Armor All because it cracks your dash. And other people are like, that's a fucking folk story. So I'm just going to clean it up and make it look good and not even worry about uh, making it shiny. Fuck it. Alrighty, there we go. The dash is no longer fluffy. Yeah. Even did inside the gauge housing. Yeah. Even did my steering wheel. Yeah. Even did the shifter. Yeah. For sakes. For a moment there, I could have sworn my dash was more fluffier than my dog. True story. Jesus Christ, these bugs are like fighting over the garbage can. Whatever the hell that thing is. Oh shit, it saw me. I wasn't planning on going out. I'd be taking these things off. All it is is a couple clips around the silver part. And that comes off and then this insert comes out. And then you can layer down a painter. But I might go one step even easier and just mask off everything around it. And then blaze it. And not even take them off the car. But I gotta go out because uh, I need some more groceries, I need some more foods, and I have that K Fun Mega or K Fun Huge or K Fun. It's a 26650 K Fun that holds 15 milliliters. This one only holds five. It's ridiculous. I put it on this device and it was even worse. It was like having a mushroom cap onto it. Then I stuck it on my Vamo, laughed for a bit because it looked ridiculous. It looked like a spearhead. And then I was like, well, frig, whatever, we're just going to test with it. Buddy has a 26650 mod, so he can rock that. But I'm just waiting for Adrian to tell me when he's done his delivery, because I'll go up there when he's up there and hang out for a bit. Yeah. All right, people, well, it ends up I don't have to drop off that cave fund. I'm just going to give it to Adrian. He can bring it back to his boss. Uh, right now, I'm going to head over to the grocery store. We're going to get some Om Noms, and then uh, come home and probably barbecue. And then after that, we're going to set up the D-Link cameras. It's going to be freaking awesome. Can hardly wait. Maybe. Alright, I just got out of the grocery store and let me tell you, the window looks pretty clean, right? Looks pretty transparent until that sun hits it face on. Frig sakes, but it's always been like that no matter what car I drove. Windows uh, over time get the uh, the stress marks into them, the, the, with the whatever the creases, and it puts like a circle on the fucking window and stuff. And So, I don't like driving at this time anyway. Anytime between 7 and 9, which you guys couldn't hear because the AC was blowing, I don't like driving, but anyway, let's go home. I got some steaks to cook. Not the greatest steak in the world, but she'll do. She'll do. Friggin' right she will. Girl is prepped. Meat is prepped. Meat is being cooked. Time for a Pilsner. Gave Rex the size for the tires needed for this thing. Friggin' found one on eBay. Apparently it's an ATV tire. Same tires that go on those little Chinese quad bikes like Bobby and Tyler had at the farm that one year. Same tires that this thing runs. That is awesome. So I can get the tire for 30 bucks plus 40 bucks shipping because there's that import fee. <coughs> so I'm just waiting for my YouTube check to come in and I'm going to spend it on getting this bike working. And I still got to fix the seat. Yep. But uh, that won't be hard. It was just, I would just wish I could find that piece of tin that I have. Because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to go out and buy tin. And then I'm going to find it. Now I was also thinking about not using this. But that's some nice flat tin. I was going to cut a piece off of that and use it. Worst case in Ontario. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea. That tin was right here. So it must have been scrapped or something. Who the farig knows? But dinner is dinnering. Alrighty, well, I've been farting around for a while. I really gotta rock a piss and let the dog out. And then we're gonna set up on the new camera. Is, uh, or maybe just one, because I don't know where to put the other one yet. Thinking about having it aim out, uh, outside. And that way there, I can, like... See if people come in my driveway and shit, you know? 
that could be uh, kind of cool too. But I'm gonna let him out, go for a piss, and I'll be right back. So I'm pretty sure I got a cricket in the house somewhere. Like last night, I'm watching Pug One's video. See, it's getting louder. <laughs> got it out in there. For freak's sakes. It's getting louder over here. You can hear it, right? The dog will quit panting and the cat will quit meowing for fuck's sakes, but I'm sitting there and I'm watching Pug One's video last night going, holy fuck. All I can hear is, I, I can't believe I can hear the crickets. Like, where, where he must have the crickets right beside the camera or something. Because, you know, you have the crickets for the frog. They're live, so you can hear them chirping away and shit. So I'm like, what the hell's really going on? And then uh, I realized, no, it wasn't Pug's video. It's a fucking cricket in my house. Son of a bitch. So I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. This is what you get in the box. You get a start here manual from D-Link, and when you open her up, it has some information and a, a disc basically to set up your camera. But we don't really need that because we can go directly in just like a wireless router. So I was wrong, the initial setup with these, you need to use the CD because it doesn't get a proper IP address from the network card. So, well there's two ways I could do this. I could either A, go through the setup wizard and all that junk, or B, just hit the Wi-Fi button in the back of the camera, then go upstairs and hit the Wi-Fi button on the router. That's what I did last time, but I'm gonna try playing it by their rules. And the CD-ROM drive on this thing. Really, bud? What the fuck was that? Some guy just drives by and just starts goosing on his fucking hog outside the door. Dickard. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to download the setup wizard off the internet because the CD-ROM drive forgot to be a CD-ROM drive today. Always had that problem with that Acer M1100. Not the awesomest computer, but for what I use for it down here, it does a great job. Right, puppy? Right, right, Oreo? Right? 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 Hey, what? What? You just wanna be petted? You wanna feel loved and stuff? Yes, you do. Oh, there's your puppy. I'm kind of anxious to see if the video from that camera is gonna be just as poor as the video from that camera. That one there's not too bad. Like, it's got these lines going through it. Don't know why, but it does. I wanna see if this one does the same or works better. Pretty simple setup. All you have to do is follow the procedure and get attacked by a crazy dog and a fluffy kitten. Look at it. You know, just coming in here for the kill. Fuck sakes. I can never film a video down here without these two bugging me. Just bothering the shit out of me, aren't you, scampers? Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. But anyway, here we go. Uh, it's doing a uh, last setup there, and the camera is currently red. I had to connect it to the Wi-Fi. You go through this on the setup. Or, like I said, you can do it the easy way by pressing the button on the back and then pressing the button on your router. And bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, you're done. You're on. For, yeah, the easy way. And that's how I did it last time. I'm like... 200% sure of it. Basically just grabs, grabs a quick snapshots of it. And that's just a quick snapshot of what it grabbed for me when I was hitting all the keys and stuff to log in. But it's set up and ready to go on its own static IP address. Now I just gotta mount the bloody thing in the kitchen. And I have a feeling this one's gonna blow the other one out of the water. Ah, we'll see. That's one thing I gotta say about the mounting hardware for this camera. Friggin awesome. You literally take it all apart. So you unscrew the camera from it. There's a little, little bezel there with a screw onto it. And then it's the same on the back here. So you take that off, and then you take this little piece of plastic out from the center. You see it's got these clips, and that covers up your screw holes. So then you can take this and say, oh, I want it here on the wall. Line it up, drive your screws in, done. Put the clip onto it, fucking bolt the camera to it, you're done. And there we have it, camera number two. Now I just need to get it tied into my network, and then aim it. So let's go do that. Here's your puppy. So remember when I was setting up the camera, and I said I heard this loud revving outside the house, and I thought it was a Harley? It was Rex. Okay, so it's exploring nearby cameras. We'll see if it finds them across the local area network. Let's see if it finds them. Fuck sakes. Wow, what a difference in picture. These scampers. Just sitting there. Just sitting there being a cat. Yep, and I also got it on my phone. Okay, she can't still be sitting there. Did the feed freeze? No, the frames are changing. Oh yeah, she's moving. Oh, what is <whistles> Oreo! Let him come. <laughs> Just fucking knock the cat over. Oh my god, that is awesome. So now I still got a third one I need to set up and I'm not sure where to put it. And I'm probably going to go downstairs and aim this one here a little bit better now that I have it all functioning properly. 
with iSpy and everything else. So, oh dick, it recorded a scene. For freak's sakes, I thought I, thought I had it all record off. Not to fix that. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I lowered the uh, brightness and gamma and all that shit on this camera. Brought her back to stock. This one here, I need to go back downstairs and aim. I was just digging around with the settings in here and I was matching them both to uh, the same settings so that it would work out perfectly and it looks good to me. So what we're going to do now is go downstairs and aim that camera. And there we go. Look, I'll walk in front of it and you can see me walk in front of it. Yup, that one's working. And if we go that button and we click on the first one, we're back to the... Okay, I'm going to need to download the firmware for this, but... Uh, Oh, scamper just walked by. Didn't even notice. Except for I was watching the feed. I click on this one here, puts this into living room mode, and then if we go into the living room, you can see me walking and things. Yeah, camera working. Freaking awesome. So I really wish I could have mounted the other camera a lot higher. Like, get her right up there, but I didn't have much lead to work with. Now I could run an extension cord off down there, get the camera way the fuck up in the corner, aiming straight down on the house. And that would look probably pretty, pretty bitchin', you know? Pretty awesome shot, but whatever. And what I was thinking for the third camera was to shit out my ass. No, I was thinking about, um... Mounting it either up here or down here and aiming it out the window. Obviously, I have to clean my window because that's a fucking disgusting mess that I haven't touched since I moved in here. Holy shit. Huh? I'll do that tomorrow. I'll clean it up. And have it aiming out the driveway so I can see if anybody's coming up to the house or if anybody's at the house or whatever. Or even have it aiming down the yard or something. I don't know. Frig, it'd be awesome. Oh, look at Black Widow. Fuck them. But anyway, people, there you go. There's my vlog for today. So we finally got the cock off the window and we finally got a new D Link camera to monitor the dog and cat. Well, I'm not around to so maybe make funny videos which I'll upload to WTF BBQ films uh, that's my other channel um, literally I put stupid shit up there that's dumb like smoking an e-dart through a bong or blowing clouds with a horse head or just stupid things I got the shits boys gotta shut her down before I shit my socks anyway that's exactly what I'm doing I'm gonna shut her down go fire off a grumpy and probably uh, watch some pug one in that and go to bed so hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did like button questions comments concerns and until next time people keep on blogging <laughs>